This week on The Educated Poor, we're going to be doing a brief introduction to red wine. So drink smart, drink well, and cheers. Wine is the product of fermented grape juice. Added yeast consumes the sugars and emits a waste we call alcohol. So alcohol is just yeast poop? Well, it's not poop per se, it's... But my poop tastes nothing like this. <laughs> what? Wine dates back to 6000 BC, first made in what is now Iran. In Tarahi has Birune Bedune Shaq. The Greeks worshipped wine as a drink and through the deity Dionysus, a god that inspired ritual madness and ecstasy. Dionysus was also the god of fertility. And apparently, as you can see, this guy never wore clothing. Hey, and for that, I were ugly, but now you seem kinda cute. Whoa, Dio, it's me, Mike. Think you may have a bit, a bit too much, man. For God's sake, put some fucking clothes on! You, uh, you should, oh, <coughs> you should have some wine. The Greek philosopher Socrates recommended wine as a tool of debate because it introduced a more sportive move. Socrates was also known to drink more than anyone else. You know, guys, we, here, uh, here's the debate. Who thinks that we should hang out more? I mean, just because you guys are students. It doesn't mean we can't just, you know, hang out after class, throw frisbee or something. This is the worst class ever. In the court of Alexander the Great, a test of manliness was how much wine a warrior could drink. Ha ha! There, I beat you all. I'm the manliest. So, uh, no one, no one else was drinking. That's right. You. <laughs> Today, wines are categorized in two ways. One, by the type of grape they were made from. For example, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon. These are all names of grapes. This is the way most wine is categorized in the Americas. They can also be categorized by the region in which they were produced. They're terroir, which is the standard categorization used by European vineyards. For example, Bordeaux or Alsace. Uh, so what should we call this one? Eh, uh, how about the uh, sexy grape of fun juice? Uh, no. How about Super Sonic Pleasure Pochon? Let's just name everything after the region. Easy. But that is so boring. What's wrong with Super Sonic Pleasure Pochon? I said we're naming it after the region. This is Burgundy. It's called Burgundy. Oh, Burgundy. Yeah, that is going to go very well off the shelves. Hey, what kind of wine do you guys want? Oh, this one is called Reddish Brown. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, sarcasm. Real mature. Douche. What do showers have to do with anything? Red wine is made from crushed red or dark purple grapes. Traditionally, this was done by women stomping on the grapes with their bare feet. Hmm, I detect a crisp sweetness with a hint of toe jam. I'm detecting a bit of fermented possum in mine. It's quite nice. Red wine has a darker, heavier taste than white wine. The sweetness you taste is a residual sugar from the fermentation process, while the dryness is an absence of sugar. Some red wines will give you a dry, puckered feeling after you drink them. That feeling is produced by tannins, an astringency from the skin of the grapes. Today, global warming threatens to move wine production away from traditional areas as temperatures rise. Discover Magazine says minimum nighttime temperatures have risen significantly causing grapes to ripen faster and creating an imbalance between sugar and acid levels. As wine regions will shift to higher and cooler latitudes, the new sweet spots may be in New England and London, rather than California and Southern France. Dude, the Swedish wine is driving me crazy. Why? What's the, uh, what's the matter? The label is just a series of pictures on how to assemble a bookshelf. 
Ah, uh, yes, the Ikea Pinot Noir. It's one of my favorites. This tastes nothing like wine! <laughs> so today, we have three reds which we're going to taste. First red is a Pinot Noir. Second, we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. And third is a Shiraz. Now today, we're going to start with the Pinot. Um, Pinot is one of the lightest reds, um, and it's good for if you're just new to wine and you want to try it out. Um, this is actually the perfect wine to start with. So when you are tasting, you can just take it by the stem. If you hold it like this, it actually warms the wine, and some people find that uh, unsatisfactory. So uh, you can actually stick your nose in it first if you'd like, and just get a smell. It's kind of like dipping your toe in the pool before you jump in. And to taste, take a small sip and swish it around in your mouth. What the swishing does is it adds air. And they say that um, adding air lets you taste the wine better, or it opens up the wine. It goes well with a lot of meals like pork, um, chicken, fish, um, any type of poultry really. Um, and it pairs well with all of them. Second, we have Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet is probably going to be one of the most complex red wines you drink. It's very heavy. If you are new to wine, you probably do not want to start with a Cabernet because um, it's, it's more like if you're new to beer, starting out with a stout. So um, let's take a taste. It's good. Um, right away you get a sort of oaky taste. That's because traditionally um, Cabernet Sauvignon is fermented in oak barrels. Uh, in addition, you're going to taste, again, a little bit more licorice, black currant, blackberries, very dark, very rich. Cabernet is good, or pairs well with dark meats like steak, ribs, um, lamb, all of these things. Third, we have Shiraz. Shiraz is a very heavy, dark red wine. Um, it's actually extremely popular in Australia where the grapes grow especially well. Um, so let's take a taste. Shiraz, right away you'll, you'll see that Shiraz has a pretty good kick. In fact, uh, it has a, a very uh, oaky finish where you can really taste the alcohol. Um, Shiraz, like Cabernet, goes well with dark meats. Um, in fact, it actually even goes well with spicy meats, like if you want to have uh, uh, Shiraz with Indian food, Mexican food, Thai food, anything like that. You do not have to be, spend a lot of money to enjoy good wine. Uh, we can't because we're poor. Uh, right here we have three great wines that are priced from 10 to 15 bucks and they taste fine. I mean these are three staple wines. There are literally hundreds of varieties of reds and whites and we just wanted to give you a small, a brief uh, range of light to dark red wine. So as always, drink smart, drink well, What's the use of getting sober when you're gonna get a drunk again? Oh, Sam done something fine. Hey, John, why do you think that episode took so long to edit? Because I don't think. <laughs>